on whether the oil protests are pointless. 0207 862 We'd love to hear from you. Climate protesters glued themselves to a copy of Leonardo da Vinci's painting The Last Supper at the Royal Academy of Arts in London. They spray-painted no new oil below the frame. It's not the first time they've done this kind of thing. In June, a couple of protesters glued themselves to a Van Gogh, and it's been happening in Manchester too. I think that the, the idea is there's oil paintings, and therefore there's an oil connection. So they're, they're, they're not complaining about oil paintings, they're just making us look and think. What do you think, Carol? They're not making me think. Um, I mean, you know, the, I read a, a quote from one culture commentator this week, and he said, when protest extends to the desecration of the sacred, the offence becomes intolerable. And I just think, you know, when we look at all these paintings, you know, these masterpieces, um, you know, they're kept in controlled rooms, they're kept, the temperature's controlled, we're not allowed to get too close. Well, you could breathe and, and we all respect that. Yeah. And these guys, and, and I know they didn't hit the painting, but, you know, they're spraying paint around. And I just think, you know, it is just so disrespectful. And all it does, it just irritates people, you know. And, and you know, if anyone had, I would have left them there overnight. I'd have just left them. Marina, you know? I think we should always just leave people who glue themselves to whatever. Just leave them there for forty-eight hours. Well, right. I think it's worth just again saying they didn't deface the painting. And the, the relevance of the Last Supper is it's because they didn't. The relevance of the Last Supper is because it's a betrayal. They're, they're saying it's like Judas's betrayal. It's a betrayal of the future generations of the global south. Now. I think that, uh, by the way, it's, it's funny that you don't seem to care about, you can care about more about the paintings that you do than you do about the damage that's being caused to this planet. We have been warned that we there are you go on again, the telling edge. me what I think. Do Carol, why are you so defensive? I'm like, not, oh, well, there we go. I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying, like, you're telling you, why me what do you I think, why, but I don't care about the planet. Instead? Why, the, but can you I see care about why? those paintings today. But the planet is literally, like, we are screeching towards a... Well, in fact, we are past it. We are on course now to reach three degrees Celsius by the end of this century. Do you know what that means? Mm. But maybe we've had it, make, maybe we've had it anyway. make a difference to that? I think protests make a difference. You think gluing yourself to a painting makes the difference? Protest, nothing, really? nothing will do nothing. Mm. Something could do something. At least we, we, we are talking about it. So, you happening? talk about... This country is responsible for 1% of global emissions. Mm -hmm. We have a better record than most countries in the world. So don't say we're doing nothing, because we are doing something. I'm not saying we're doing You just said it's better doing... than nothing. You just said so what that doing, is better than nothing. They are, cr they, are cr they are generating awareness of this, and they will... We're already the... aware. We don't need we're a, not a couple of numpties not to stick their hands enough. to a They're painting. Not yes, we are. They are numpties. Well, I, you know, the... They're doing something about uh, us here. Some, some people do care about these paintings, though, Marina, yes. don't they? They really do. And if you're going to take an aerosol yeah. near a Leonardo da Vinci, you've got... There's worry... I mean, I had this with, once with, uh, with some... Is it that creosote or something? You spray, spray it on a... Back. Yeah, it, 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 exactly. It spray back. goes on the car. Of course. Right, so it, dri and it drifts over the fence, it, it hits the neighbour's car. Hmm. Now, you don't want to do that with a da Vinci. Put the Ron seal on and you suddenly got, you know, Judas's face has got spattered. I'm more concerned about the planet than I am about the frame of a painting or the, the wall beneath a painting. That's what I'm more concerned about. But we're talking about, we're talking about in 70 years, we are going to see, like, crop failure, famine, yep. mass migration. I'm sure you're not a massive fan of that, Carol. Like, there's all sorts of things we are going to see, and no-one's waking up to this. This is like my kid. My kid is a baby. He's going to be in his 70s and, work, and in a planet that is shutting down around him. Let's talk to one of the protesters. Miranda Wellahan is a campaigner with Just Stop Oil. Miranda, why target artwork? Is it the, excuse me, is it the oil connection or what? Um, hi, Jeremy. Uh, thanks for having me on. I just want to say that we're from the Just Up Oil Coalition and our demand is that the UK government invest in no new oil because we know that new oil is a death sentence for people, for my generation or your children, Storm's baby. Um, and that's why we're here taking this level of action, because this is how extreme the crisis that we face is. It, the, I think the, the reason Carol's angry and some others is you're taking an aerosol near a da Vinci painting and if it's spoilt, it's never going to recover. With all due respect, while you're here arguing and while you're here kind of laughing about this and talking about this, mothers are burying their children in the Horn of Africa right now because they have the worst drought they've seen in 40 years. On our doorstep, there are fires and droughts raging through France and Spain and Italy. Tokyo has just seen its highest temperatures ever on record. The same in Bangladesh, the same in India, the same in parts of the US, in Canada, in the Arctic, in the Antarctic. 
it's 40 degrees higher than it should be. This is so, so serious. And I'm sorry, but if a bit of spray paint is causing you to be that outraged and not these horrendous things that are happening right now, not in 70 years, not in 30 years, right now, then you need to get your priorities straight. And I'm sorry if that sounds rude, but this is the situation that we are in. It doesn't sound rude. It just sounds passionate, Carol. I mean, this is, this is the next no, generation. Let me, let's admit this. You actually don't care if those paintings were damaged. Are you saying that's just collateral damage in your cause? Is that what you're saying? Of course we we care and some of the people who have done this these actions are actually art students i think they care a hell of a lot but you know what sometimes we have to look at reality and physics and look outside the window at what is happening and what carbon from oil is causing around the world and that is more important than a tiny bit of spray paint on one painting in one part of the country and that is, that is it like we cannot be yeah. this outraged at something that's happening to a piece of artwork and look at what is happening around the world. You should be channeling that anger into that. Sh and this is not passion. Carol, this we is te be I'm oh, terrified and I'm frustrated. We are still having these conversations. OK, let me, let me just stay there. Let's see if we can get a call on this. So, go on. I was just going to say, the assumption is people who disagree with what those students did don't care about climate change. I mean, it's insulting. Of course they care about climate change. And two students sticking their hand to a painting isn't going to make them care more or less. People care, and the assumption that they don't is insulting. Miranda, do you think that we, or rather, uh, let's say, the over-50s don't really care? Is that the issue? I don't think it's care about climate change. We care, we care about government inaction. Of course, we understand that people care, but the fact that the government are going ahead with 42 new oil fields, which will be releasing emissions into the 2050s, when obviously they've committed to net zero by 2050. That's what we care about. And this is not saying that you don't care. This is how serious it is, and I don't think that you understand, Miranda. quite frankly, how serious it is. I understand. This is the level of action we should be taking. And if you did understand, you would be agreeing. Well, listen, it, I'm just wondering whether if they hit, and they have come close to hitting some pretty major new oil in the North Sea, right, and we've got a chance of digging that oil out and using it to heat homes where otherwise old people this winter get hypothermia because they can't pay for their heating, or we can buy it from Russia. What do we do? You know, when Insulate Britain were asking for insulation for the homes of the elderly, you were on this show hating on them. They had a solution. They had the thing about energy efficiency and insulation, and that's what we need. And that's not, that isn't what's happening. And quite frankly, the price of oil and the cost of living crisis is not our fault. That is, again, because of inaction of this are. government. And that's what we're trying say. Carol. So in terms of collateral damage, I mean, you, you say you don't care about masterpieces. Do you care about she people's does, lives? Do you care about people getting hurt in your protest? People dying in Why your protest? Why do you keep talking about this? Are we talking Because I want to. You keep zoning in on the micro stuff. You, micro you, you stuff. just keep forgetting the bigger picture. Were you, were you against the suffragettes and Emily Davison when she threw herself under the king's carriage? Don't be ridiculous. Were you under the under? Or were you against the women who did the so stoppages? Are we going to go through history? every protest? I'm history. saying protests are, by their very nature, disrupted because they need to be. Do you think people like, is it Mar Miranda, sorry, do you think Miranda, this is her first port of call? Do you think this is, they haven't tried every other avenue before they have got to this level of desperation? Do you think this government is doing nothing to combat climate change? I think they are doing do worse doing than nothing? nothing. Yes, I do. I oh, think do they you? are commissioning... Okay. So why, why in the, in the are the London let, let Marina just answer. Let for Marina. one percent of the world's global emissions? Go on, Marina. Because we are, we are job. a small country, but we are still responsible ah. for our emissions. Also, aren't we supposed to be one of these global leaders? And if we are going well, we back on go our, if we go back on our promises from COP26. Since the IPC gave this warning that it is now or never, we have commissioned, I thought it was seven, so Miranda, you might have corrected me, seven new oil and gas projects. And not only that, with our so windfall tax... we don't have tax, power, with we our don't windfall have tax, heating, we are how do we run the right. country? OK. With our windfall tax, we're actually incentivising energy Let's... companies to in do more drilling. Miranda, stay there. I hope you're enjoying your appearance on the show. Storm. We're going to speak to Peter from the West Midlands now, who thinks no-one is offering solutions. So, so are you critical of this protest, Peter, or you support it? I'm not critical, no. Right. However, can we have them come up with a solution if we turn the oil off? Mm -hmm. If you turn the oil off, all transport would eventually come to a standstill. All the s supplies of food 
would eventually disappear, and it would cause absolute chaos. Give us a solution. Well, let me ask Miranda the, the solution, Miranda, and it needs to be available today. Um, I would just like to say that I think this scenario that you just described is what we're going to face with climate change. Food running out on the shelves, infrastructure not being able to handle it. That's what's happening in Tokyo right now. But on the solutions, there are so many solutions. There's been solutions for decades. Energy efficiency, insulation, renewables. The list goes on and on. But quite frankly, it's not up to citizens to find solutions. It's not up to students who are working so hard on this to provide all the solutions, it's up to the government that we've all voted in who have billions and billions and who are spending on, it, on ridiculous things. We could be investing it into people and into the solutions, and that's what we're asking for. I don't think it's up to ordinary people who have jobs and degrees and school to be providing all the solutions. People have them, and our government isn't acting on them enough. Thank you, Miranda. Thank you, Peter. Thanks to everyone who got in touch. We've got to take a break in a moment. We'll, I think we should return to our big political story of the day and whether Boris Johnson needs to basically throw in the towel or in boxing someone would throw in the towel for him. 0207 